Hello friends and family, hope you're having a great day. Have a start to another exciting hot sauce review series here. From Taos, New Mexico, we have Taos Hum Hot Sauce. Um, their slogan is Make It Stop. Um, the strange mystery of the Taos Hum has been solved. Only some can hear it. We promise you will taste it and feel it, and no one can make it stop. I guess this city in New Mexico, Taos, is known for having a mysterious hum. I guess there's a few places around the world that have this. There's one in Canada as well, I believe. But this, these cities mysteriously emit a low-frequency sound that is, I guess, comparable to um, a washing machine running, I believe, or a dryer, maybe it was the other one, some sort of a, like an electric motor running. Some people can hear it, I think it's something like 4% of people can hear it. Um, nobody else can hear it. And uh, some people, it drives them nuts, literally, actually drives them crazy. Um, but they can't find it, they can't figure out where it comes from or why it's happening. Taos hum, make it stop. Hot sauce? Taosum hot, hot sauce is made from peppers that are grown without the use of any chemicals in the warm soils on the west face of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. Hopefully I said that correctly. Grown, hand harvested, and blended by the folks at Walking Trout Farm, Taos, New Mexico. This is their Peruvian ghost hot sauce. Give you a little close up of the label there. Cool little cartoon artwork of a ghost pepper, I guess. I really like that artwork. And they got their heat scale there on the side as well. This is their uh, their most mild sauce on their heat scale. Let me read you the ingredients here. Aji Amarillo. Aji Limo. Or Limo, I'm not sure. Yellow Ghost, Orange Habanero, Local White Wine Vinegar, Natural White Vinegar, and Salt. It says, Refrigerate After Opening. Content Separate Naturally, Shake Well, Enjoy With Caution. I like the sound of that. Let's get this factory seal off so we can check the consistency here. Oh yeah, so it's got a good, good runny consistency to it. Yeah, you can kind of see that. Um, it looks to be a pureed sauce. You definitely can see some pulpy chunks in there for sure. Give it another little shake before we open it up. Let's get into it. Um, I should mention, I didn't, uh, I didn't actually buy these hot sauces. Um, these kind folks, J Joe and Lo are their names, from Taos, New Mexico. They were kind enough to send me a message after we've been interacting for a while on, uh, on Instagram and other social medias. Um, and they just wanted to send me some samples to review and to share my reaction with you and, uh, spread the word. Um, so I really hope I like these. I, uh, I didn't have to pay a thing for them. They, they seem like such nice people. They actually mentioned that they're golden retriever owners as well as, as well as a, uh, a great Pyrenees dog. A few other dogs as well. Um, Fava is their golden retriever's name. Okay, so I see right off the bat we have a flow restrictor. That's all right. Oh, it's got that really nice, um, yeah, you can smell, I swear you can smell that ghost. Because there's not a lot other in here other than the peppers, vinegar, and salt. Habanero. That's what that smell is. It's habanero I can smell. My mistake, not ghost. And hopefully these folks don't mind, but I'm going to remove this flow restrictor right off the bat. Because I don't need that. And I see... Oh, that smells good. This is their most mild sauce, and 
the first three ingredients are peppers. That gets me pretty stoked. Get my chase the heat spoon out because I will not be tainting my sauce. Mother of Pearl will not alter the flavor of your hot sauces and I want to taste this hot sauce. Let's check out the pour here. actually kind of awkward to pour a lean forward like this. Okay, I'm going to give this a little poke. I'll show you the little styrene poker that I made. There we go. Get some of that stuff out of there. It's got some pepper mash looking stuff at the top there. A little bit of juice. Come on. There we go. So it's a thick sauce for, well, maybe it's just the top. Sometimes that can happen at the top of the, top of the uh, hot sauce bottles there. It's got a very nice color, very nice, rich yellowy amber color to it. Hum hot sauce. Peruvian ghost. Let's see if this will heat my shorts. Wow, that has got a very, very unique flavor. I want to say you can taste the orange habaneros in there. It's definitely vinegar, pepper vinegar forward. Those two are right neck and neck when... I'm not familiar with the ahi amarillo or the ahi limo, limo. I'm not too sure how to pronounce that either, but the Yellow Ghost, the Orange Habanero, they have such a nice fruity flavor to them. Yellow peppers in general have a more fruity flavor. Red just has a more, just pepper, classic spicy pepper flavor. Yeah, this is really good. I really like this. Could do without the flow restrictor, absolutely. And it's not that hot. It's uh, the smell. It smells hotter than it actually hits on the in the mouth and everything. Um, for me, it's it moves my needle. I'd say it's a one, which is good. This is their most mellow sauce. That's you want to start somewhere at the bottom. Wow. I really like that. This would really be good on any sort of a curry dish. I would put this in a curry dish. Um, anything that you'd have, you know, your gingers and your turmeric and your garlic and your onion and yeah, it's. It's the, the taste reminds me of a scotch bonnet, even though I know there isn't scotch bonnets in it, but it has that... Scotch bonnets are quite similar to habaneros in flavor. Slightly different, but similar also. Orange habaneros. One of my favorite, you know, um, below super hot peppers. I love them. I absolutely love orange habaneros. Mmm. This is really good. This would be good on rice dishes. Definitely be good on chicken wings. 
It's got my lips burning now a little bit. It's got a little bit of forehead sweat going on. I'm not sure if I just referred to myself as an it or or if I said the bottle of hot sauce is sweating, but it is what it is. This is really good. Honestly, this is becoming the new thing that I say, but I would even put this on ice cream. It has that that fruity flavor. I'm having more. It has that fruity flavor that orange and yellow peppers often have that It's just so good, I don't know. Mmm, and a very, it's got an earthy, almost bitter aftertaste to it. That reminds me of like cactus. I don't know, there's no cactus in this, but it reminds me of that cactus, like kind of after bite taste, bitter taste almost. Yeah, it'd be really good on those cactus kind of dishes, maybe even with those Napolitos. Those have already got some heat, I bet, but might have to try kicking up some sort of a delicious Mexican dish. See, my little poker came in handy. Not that it really matters if you stick a toothpick or, a, I guess, a straw. I think that's what I saw Johnny using to poke his sauce through. Um, but yeah, that works good too, and it's always in my Chase the Heat container. So Tao's Hum, I'm really excited to get into the rest of these sauces now. You can see them all sitting beside me here on the table. Um, there's still five other ones to try. Um, they also sent me stickers. I don't know if you can see the one on the board here. This is their Fatali hot sauce right there that I actually, I don't have that one either, actually, so I think that's one of the ones that actually just came out. They also gave me the prickly pear, that's the one I'm, no, sorry, my bad, the prickly pear is here, I do have that one. That's one of the other stickers that they gave me. Caramelized Cayenne, here's another one that I will have to maybe purchase an order from Tao's Hum get a few more of their sauces. And the peach habanero, I do not have as well. Maybe I'll have to place an order and get that one. There we go. So they sent me those, which is super cool. I absolutely love stickers. Here's this one, just a, an assortment of the different peppers. Yeah, I like that a lot. It's not quite focusing on the lettering at the bottom. Experience the hum. Taoishumhotsauce.com Really cool. I'm really excited to... I was already stoked to, to try their first sauce, to give this a review and see uh, see how it is. And I think I'm even more excited to try the rest of them now. I'm not going not gonna to tell you too much about them right now, but I do want to show you this one. Look at that color of that one. It's like... Pink. It's kind of hard to pick it up on the camera there. That's an expiration date, not a price. But yeah, you can kind of see the color of that. Really stoked to try that one. That's the prickly pear one. The prickly, prickly ghost. My apology. I will be reviewing these all one by one. Aside from that, I wanted to remind you that this Friday, Sorry, next Friday, I will be doing another Tube of Terror run. Um, February 26th, Friday. I'm not sure what time yet, but I am going to be doing another Zoom meeting with Johnny Scoville and David Martin, I believe, and hopefully Tommy Scoville. I hear he's not feeling very well, but maybe if we send him some positive vibes, send him, send him some love. Hopefully he can feel better and crush a tube with us. I hope that all of you tune in. I will let you know more when I know uh, more about what time it's going to be at. Last month it was at 4 p.m. Um, Pacific Standard Time, which is... Well, I can't tell you off the top of my head what time it was in his time. I want to say like 7 p.m. in Eastern Standard Time, but... Uh, BC time, it was 4 p.m., and hopefully it's the same time just so we can kind of go with that. 
but if not, I will tell you otherwise, of course. And I will also be recording it on my um, digital camera and my laptop and my JVC Handycam. So hopefully we have our bases covered and, again, at least one of them catches it on footage. We will have the live footage as well, so that'll be good. If nothing else, it'll be on Johnny's channel and Chase the Heat. Other than that, lots more reviews coming your way. A few more challenges. Gonna do some project videos as well. Gonna be practicing the guitar a whole lot more and hopefully lay down a better jam on my next guitar video. Um, all sorts of more fun things coming down the pipes here. I want to hear what you guys want to hear or want to see from me as well. You've been really great so far. I hear that a uh, couple people didn't really like the edited together habanero video that I did, which is cool. I really appreciate that feedback. I would rather people tell me that. We actually got our first dislike on that video, which doesn't bother me at all. That just makes me happy that people are comfortable telling me how they feel about it. And uh, yeah, one person told me in the in the comments that they want to see the raw videos. They don't want to see my edited together videos, which is good because that took me way too long to edit. I am not doing that for every video. Um, and I said that from the beginning too. I just wanted to try it out. But anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up here. I really recommend trying definitely this one, the Peruvian Ghost Hot Sauce from Tao's Hum. I can, I, I can only assume that the rest are as equally as awesome and they're only going to get spicier from here so keep an eye out for those reviews coming up too. Uh, don't forget to like the video, leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, this has been Heat My Shorts. I love you all. Cheers.